class for strength, flexibility, and balance. So let's just come around here and we'll start out by just getting the body all set for the day. So let's take a calming breath and return the body to its natural healthy condition. Let go of all stress and tension from the night before. Let it go. Breathe and relax. So we're going to be working from the shoulders to the crown point of the head first. So let's go ahead and um, just bring the hands here and balance. Let's balance the lower dantian and keep it right around the belt buckle and just move back and forth and get that body balanced, getting ready for the exercises. We'll be doing about 11 exercises from the shoulders up and 11 from the shoulders down to the belt and then 11 from the belt down to the floor. So probably around 30, 35 exercises. Breathe and relax for strength, flexibility, and balance. Beautiful balance. Bring that body into balance. Getting ready for the Tai Chi and Qigong. Breathe and relax. Feel the push or the pull of your hands as you balance it. That lower dantian balanced. And then bring it to a gentle stop. And let's do a calming breath, letting go of all stress and tension in the body. Bringing the body into balance. We're going to be starting out working from the shoulders to the crown point of the head. So the first one we're going to do is push the neck forward, push it way forward, push the chin out, hold it out. Take a big inhale and exhale and just let the eyes search the sea and come over to the edge and then inhale back. Now if one side's stiffer than the other side, only go to the weak side on both sides and let it open holistically. Don't force it. Everything is nice and soft. Just keep those head the chins right out, working seven vertebrae in the back of the neck, cervical vertebrae from the right in the shoulder, right to the top, opening them up. They compress every night. We need to open up every morning. So slowly move the head. Don't force it nice and gentle. Just moving, breathing, stretching. Let the eyes search the sea. We're opening pressure points on things called meridians. Meridians are channels that carry energy. Sometimes they use needles and that's called acupressure. We're using acup acupuncture and we're using acupressure. So we're just stretching those pressure points, and opening them up for the day. There's 361 of them on the body that we'll be opening. One last time and then bring the head back and a calming breath. Letting go of all stress and tension. Breathe and relax. Drop the chin right against the chest. Take a big inhale and exhale. Keep the chin right against the chest or the shoulder and look at the moon over the shoulder and then inhale back to the center. And then exhale and look at the moon over the other shoulder. Let the eyes roll and look backwards. The first thing that the eye doctor tells you is exercise those eyes. Let those eyes roll and look backwards. Get some of that night vision back that we lose. Some of that depth vision and peripheral vision. Those eyes roll and look backwards. Keep the head right against the ch chest or the shoulder as you come up. Don't lift it. Working those vertebrae. It's called the 100 meridian area in the neck. There's only 20 meridians in the body, but there's a lot of pressure points in that neck. Liver meridian runs right through there. The spleen meridian, a lot of the meridians run right through the neck. We're just using a little acupressure. Get some of the stress and tension out of them as best we can. One last time. Looking backwards till the illness disappears, that opens the liver meridian. And then a calming breath, returning the body to its natural healthy condition. Now we're going to start working the shoulders, from the shoulders to the crown point. Come up with the nose and the hands, they call the tripods, so the nose and the two hands. We come up, come slightly on the toes, and then come down, squeeze the hands a bit, and look down into the earth. And then come up. Let's get those shoulders open for the day. Sometimes we sleep on them wrong at night. We get tendonitis in there. Very painful if you get tendonitis. You can't sleep night or day. It, it aches. Keep those shoulders healthy. Work those elbows, those wrists, those hands. Sort of squeeze the fists. There's some pressure points right out on the end of those fingers that we're just opening up. Clearing some of the blockages that might be in there. Blockages are caused from stress and tension mostly. 60 to 90 percent, according to Harvard Medical School, of all of our injuries 
And all of our illnesses are caused from stress and tension. So let's get some of the stress and tension out of there. It's also caused from bruises and inflammation, diseases and allergies, all kinds of things cause blockages. One last time. A tripod. Let's work those shoulders a little bit more. Bring the hands out here. Everybody okay? Palms facing up. Put all the weight over to one side and turn the hand over and then go to the other side as the snake goes through the shoulders. Snake through the shoulders. Shifting from side to side. Turn those hands over. There's a meridian that runs from the little finger into the heart. So we're going from one little finger to the other. Opening that meridian with a little acupressure. Right through the heart meridian. This one runs from the middle finger to the other side, and that's the pericardial meridian that surrounds the heart. One last time, snake through the shoulders and then hands to the side. This time we'll do old sage strokes his beard. Let go of all stress and tension with a calming breath. Work the shoulders a little bit more. Come up here with a tripod right in front of the face. I mean, sorry, draw the bow. So we've got, a, we've got a triangle right in front of the face. Now keep the eyes straight ahead and we're gonna watch both hands as we open the hands, straight up at the elbows. Watch both hands, work that peripheral vision, keep the eyes straight ahead. See how far you can see those hands. Little eye exercise, work in the shoulders, elbows, arms. Work those eyes, your eye doctor's always telling you to exercise those eyes. Let them watch both hands. See how far you can see both hands, head straight ahead. Tripod, and now this is draw the bow. Working those shoulder blades. You get a lot of chronic fatigue in those shoulder blades. Let's get a little of it out. That's the root of the arm. You can't move the arm or the hands without those shoulder blades moving. So keep them nice and healthy. Draw the bow. Watch both hands. Peripheral vision. Getting stronger and stronger. One last time. Hands down to the side. And a calming breath, letting go of all stress and tension. Breathe and relax. This time one hand will come in front. The other hand will go right on the back, right directly across from the belt buckle or the navel. The one in the front is going to come up through the three burner, the triple burner, the waist system, the digestive system, and the rest system. So it comes straight up the spinal cord to the chin. Gets to the chin, it turns out beyond the shoulder, comes above the eyes. We look up at it, we pluck the stars from the galaxy, bringing some energy down into the body. Then change the hands, opening up the triple burner, getting the small universal orbit to flow up the back and down the front. Hands are very powerful. Where the hands go, the chi flows. Where the mind goes, the chi flows. Right in the center of the hand is the legong, the prayer hands, the laying on of hands, moving energy through the body as those hands move. Healing hands, they're called many things, Reiki master hands, moving energy up the center, right to the chin, out beyond the shoulder, stretching those shoulders, those elbows, those arms. One last time, pluck the stars from the galaxy. The galaxy gives us a lot of energy. The moon controls our ocean waves. The sun gives us energy and then hands at the side and a calming breath. Letting go of all stress and tension. It's time the hands come down, the wrist touch right in front of us. The wrists are touching the back of the hands. They come up to the shoulders. The falcon flaps its wings. They float back down, working those carpal bones. There's nine carpal bones in those hands, three of them are in the wrist. If the ones in the wrist get a little tired, they'll collapse and pinch the nerve. We get carpal tunnel syndrome. No fun, let's work that, those wrists, keep them healthy, keep them strong. Get it from doing repetitious things, like hanging onto bicycle handlebars, like hanging onto a computer mouse, you have to be careful. The, Carpal tunnel syndrome, so keep those wrists healthy, those hands healthy, those fingers healthy. Falcon flaps its wings. One last time. 
hands at the side and a calming breath, letting go of all stress and tension. Breathe and relax. So this time the green dragon rotates its shoulders. It's gonna work those shoulders, so rotate those shoulders forward. Open those shoulder blades, close those shoulder blades, get that whole upper body moving and get it soft like cotton. We want the core strong like steel. We use the cotton and steel principle. Core runs from the crown point of the head down to the coccyx right through the center of the body. The rest of the body is soft. Let's go the other direction. Green dragon rotates shoulders. Nice and flexible, soft and gentle. One last time. And a calming breath. Making that circle of infinity and then bringing that energy right down through the body, letting go of all stress and tension. A calming breath. Breathe and relax. Let's make the hands like an octopus, all the fingers squeezing against the thumbs. So now we got an octopus. Get those wrists bent over rather firmly. We're gonna work those wrists and then come out. Let's work the arthritis, the trigger finger. Stretch those fingers, pull it back in. Push it out like an octopus throwing its limbs out and bringing them back in. Thunder fingers, like the sun's shining right from the palm of our hands as we stretch those hands, lighting up the universe with our energy. Cat's paw, pulling energy back into the body with that cat's paw. Moving, breathing, stretching, getting ready for the day. All that arthritis, trigger fingers, carpal tunnel, all those extremities, they don't get a lot of blood flow out there. A lot of pressure points out on those fingers, so we're just opening them up, squeezing and releasing them one last time. And then hands at the side. And the old lady, or the <laughs> fair lady, strokes her hair in a calming breath, returning the body to its natural, healthy condition. Breathe and relax. Do one more, and we'll have it all tightened up from the shoulders up. So this time we'll come up and cross the hands, slap the buttock right on the hip. Now the fingernails, and then come up and slap the buttock. Now the fingernails. This pressure points out on those fingernails. That little finger runs to your heart. Thumb runs to your lungs. A lot of meridians that run up through those legs, the young meridians. It's like those lines on the side of my pants, there's meridians running there, we're opening them up. Getting those hands vibrating for the day, getting the energy flowing out to those hands. Healing hands. One last time, and then hands at the side. Fair lady strokes her hair in a calming breath. Letting go of all stress and tension. Now we work from the waist to the crown point of the head. So we want to balance the center of the body. Put the hands over the belt buckle. Go all the way around the stomach. Back to the belt buckle in a big circle. Imagine a nice violet color, kind of like my shirt. A nice violet color shining from the palm of the hands inside. Healing those internal organs as we massage them. Lighting up the body like a solar light. Oh, feels good. Let's go the other direction. It's good for diver, diverticulitis, pancreatitis, any of the stomach problems, diarrhea, constipation. So massage those internal organs. They do a lot of work for us. Let's do a little bit of work for them and get them balanced so we can work the center part of the body. The belt to the crown point of the head now, and then bring it to a gentle stop. Hands at the side in a calming breath. Energy healing, healing energy. Let's rub the hands and get them nice and hot now. Nice and hot. A little hotter. Now put them over those kidneys and let's massage those kidneys. They have a hard crust around them, so be firm but gentle. Just giving them a nice massage. They do a lot of work for us. That's the number one internal organ in traditional Chinese medicine. Let's give it a nice massage. That heat go into them. Now put the hands over the kidneys 
Now let's massage the kidneys by moving the hips as the lotus rustles in the wind, just going in a circle. Feel those kidneys moving under your hands. They have gray matter in them. Those kidneys have gray matter. That's the gut brain, part of the gut brain. Just give it a nice massage, get it ready for the day. Those hips moving. Shoulders, middle part of the body, rib cage. Let's go the other direction a few times. Lotus rustles in the wind, just nice and gentle, moving, breathing, stretching. One last time, then bring it to a gentle stop, hands at the side, and a calming breath, letting go of all stress and tension. Breathe and relax. Bring the hands here and work those extremities again. So open the hand, push it out hard, a little, use a little isometric pressure. Look at the elbow on the other side. Stretch that neck and then come back around that 100 meridian area. Stretch those shoulders, those elbows, no tendonitis in the elbows, no tennis elbows. Squeeze those hands when they come out, stretch those fingers, get that carpal tunnel, send them out, trigger fingers. Nice stretching, getting that blood to flow. Blood is the mother of energy, chi. Chi is the commander of the blood. If it gets blocked from bruises or inflammation, we have a blockage, so we're opening those blockages. Getting them ready for the day, Get those meridians flowing properly. Push the stone tablet, it weighs about 300 pounds. They write on it with a hammer and chisel, so put a little pressure on there. Not a lot, just gentle. Opening wide though. One last time, working the center of the body, the rib cage, the heart, and the lungs, and a calming breath. Energy healing. Healing energy. We're gonna move a little bit now. Hand comes out, turn the hips and the feet, bring that hand in, bring the other hand on the outside of the hip and thrust into the mountain on two out breaths. And then turn, that's all right. Just bring that hand in and thrust two times. Now turn, working that body, bring that hand in, the other hand out and thrust. Keep those hands on the outside of the hip, that opens the lymph nodes. Lymph nodes do not open on their own, they gotta be squeezed and released to get them to open. So this is squeezing and releasing the ones in the ingegral groove where the leg connects to the body, the claw and then turn, hand comes in, hand comes out, squeeze them. Balances the immune system, bring it in into yin, yang balance. One last time. And then back to the center, hands at the side, and a calming breath, letting go of all stress and tension. Breathe and relax. Next movement, this time we're gonna come down. Let's come down to the knees and then we'll come up and we'll part the wild horse's mane. Stretch the whole body out. That back compresses an inch during the day. Slightly come, let, let the heels, weight come off the heels as you lift those heels just a bit, stretching that whole body. Back compresses about an inch every night. You need to open it every morning, get those vertebrae open. Whole body settles at night. Heart and lungs settle. Let's open the heart and the lungs. Get them ready for the day. Ah, oh, yeah. One last time. Hands at the side. And a calming breath, letting go of all stress and tension. Breathe and relax. Hands out here. Hand comes to the side, goes behind the head. And willow blows in the wind. Stretch that back, those rib cages. Oh yeah, those shoulders. Everything in the center part of the body is getting open for the day. You have strength and flexibility. Chinese yoga, moving, breathing, stretching. Getting the body ready for the day. Grab the ear on the other side of the head as best you can. 
Stretch that body as the willow blows in the wind. One last time. Hands at the side. And the fair lady strokes her hair in a calming breath. Energy healing, healing energy. Breathe and relax. Let the hands come down to the knees. Put the right hand on the left knee, let the left hand dangle. Now keep the hand right above the head, don't bring it above the buttock and turn and watch the hand as it comes above the head as the phoenix bird spreads its wings working the center part of the body. Those rib cages, shoulders, strength and flexibility, beautiful balance, working on it, getting it ready for the day. Stretching, moving. One last time. And when you put the hands on the knees, drop the buttock towards the floor, and as you do, push up on the hands and watch that lower back come up slowly. Step back and a calming breath. Returning the body to its natural healthy condition. Energy healing, healing energy. Breathe and relax. Hands come in front of the neck here, they come up. Bamboo bends in the wind. Oh yeah, deep bend. Oh, bamboo twist in the wind. Both directions. Hands come down, they come up the center. Bamboo bends in the wind. That lower back, bamboo twist in the wind. Both sides, nice and gentle, soft and gentle. Bamboo bends in the wind. Oh yeah, bamboo twist in the wind. One last time. Bends in the wind. Bamboo twist in the wind. And then hands at the side. And a calming breath, letting go of all stress and tension. Breathe and relax. You want to be very careful on the, on the next one, or not at all, 70-40 rule. We're only going at 70% of what we're capable and 40% if you have an injury or an illness. So the moon falls out of the sky. Green dragon retrieves the moon, reach between the legs gently, and then come up and put the moon back in the sky, lean back just slightly. Back and forth, work your then back, stretching. Gentle and relax. Oh, yes. One last time. Green dragon retrieves the moon. And then let the hands come down to the side. Step back and a calming breath. Letting go of all stress and tension. Let's work one more for balance and then we'll... we'll uh, We'll do two more and then we'll take a break. Let's work one more for balance. So this time we're going to step behind and the bear is going to push the wall and look backwards as best you can. And just step back. If you can't step behind, just step back. Bill over here is 93 years old, doing great. Looking good, Bill. <laughs> we love you. <laughs> You're doing fine. Strength and balance. Working those shoulders, those hips, everything's getting worked now. One last time. And then hands at the side and a calming breath, letting go of all stress and tension. Do one more, then we'll take a break. So this time, green dragon, we're going to work the, the back, so be very careful. 70-40 rule. Hand comes out. If you have any pain or discomfort, you stop. Turn. Bring that hand in, bring both hands out. Green dragon rolls over the head, down to the knees. Now he rolls behind the head and down to the knees. Now both hands in, right hand out. Green dragon runs, both in, both out. He rolls down to the knees. Behind the head. Both hands in, left hand out. Green dragon runs, both hands in, both out. He rolls behind the head. 
One last time, both hands in, right hand out, green dragon runs, both hands in, both out, green dragon rolls. Behind, both hands in, left hand out, back to the center, hands at the side, and a calming breath, letting go of all stress and tension. Take a three minute break, come right back, uh, drink water, don't dehydrate. So let's go ahead and, and uh, take a couple of calming breaths, bringing in some energy for energy healing and healing energy, bring the body back in after the break. One more calming breath, letting go of all stress and tension. Now we're gonna work the whole body from the crown point of the head all the way down to the bottom of the feet, to the big toe, and then hands at the side. Energy healing, healing energy, breathe and relax. So let's rub the hands together. Uh, for, no, we gotta, we gotta work the body first. Let's come up, make the big circle of infinity. And when you finish the circle of infinity, cross the arms here, come up and make the black and white in the circle of infinity. This yin yang symbol, balancing energy in the whole body. So the hands are making that black and white symbol right in the center of that circle of infinity. There's energy around the body for about 10 feet that we're clearing. Call the circle of infinity, just open it up, clear it. Now make that yin yang symbol, bringing in the body into yin yang balance. So we can do exercises for the whole body. One last time, clear that energy. Sometimes Harvard Medical School measure that energy around the body to see what kind of resistance you have to diseases and allergy, it's very powerful. So let's do a calming breath. Letting go of all stress and tension. Breathe and relax. So let's bring the feet together. Rub the hands, get them nice and hot. Hotter, hotter, hotter. Oh yeah, I got nice warm hands. Bring them down to the knees and let's massage those knees. Traditional Chinese medicine, the knees are for longevity. Let's give them a nice massage. Let's slap them a little bit. Low hand slapping. Give them a nice massage. And then put the hands on the knees to protect them. Either put them on the outside or on top of the knees. And then the white crane rotates her knees. Nice and gentle, moving up and down. Working those legs. Legs give us 70% of our energy for the day. So we want to keep those legs healthy and moving. Strengthen the muscles around those knees. If you've had a knee replacement, it'll help with the knee replacement. If you have it, we don't want one, so it'll keep them nice and soft, soft like cotton and a core, strong like steel. Let's go the other direction a few times. Opening those pressure points in those knees. A lot of pressure points around those knees using acupressure. And then bring it to a gentle stop. Hands at the side and a calming breath, letting go of all stress and tension. Again, 70-40 rule, let's step out into a wide horse stance. I'm gonna ride the horse. Now the knees do not come forward, the buttock comes out in the back, keep the knees right over the feet. Let the hands come up, let the buttock come out like you're sitting down on a chair. You're down as far as you're comfortable, then ride the horse. Gentle and relaxed. Strong legs. Powerful legs, strength and balance, beautiful balance. Remember more seniors die from falls than cancer or heart disease after age 65. So let's strengthen those legs, prevent those falls as best we can. Moving, breathing, oh yeah. Just a little tiny bit as they open up, just let them come down just a tiny bit at a time. Go at your own pace. It's all right to go with your own breath. One last time. Ride the horse. And step back. And a calming breath, letting go of all stress and tension. So let's step a little wider this time. Toes pointing towards the corners of the room. Put the thumbs right into the inger, right into where the bones connect. Right in here. Put the fingers right on the integral groove. 
where the legs connect in the front. So the fingers towards the front, thumbs towards the back. Now keep the shoulders and hips level and drop the knee down about six inches and then come up, back and forth. Tame the tiger, working those hips, feel those bones moving under those hands. Thumbs right in there. The shoulders and hips level, strength and balance, beautiful balance. A little lower if you can, not a lot, just a fraction. Gently moving back and forth, stretching all the ligaments and tendons. Your body's going to be very soft. You're going to move through life with grace and ease, gentleness and relaxation, softness and awareness. Softening the whole body, getting it stretched out. It gets hard and brittle as we grow older. It's stiff. I need to work it every day. One last time. And step back. And a calming breath, letting go of all stress and tension. Breathe and relax. Nice and gentle. So be very careful, or not at all, be very careful. We're going to step behind. Now you can step backwards if you can't step behind. And then put that knee inside the other knee, and then come down as white snake spits poison. A Tai Chi move from the 48 form Tai Chi. White snake spits tongue. White snake spits poison. A little lower if you can. It's up to you, you know how your body feel. Strength and balance we're working on. Gentle and relaxed. Stretch those ligaments, those tendons, get them ready for the day. They get hard and brittle. The whole body gets hard and brittle as we grow older. We start losing everything at age 20. We lose it for the rest of our lives. That's why pro athletes can only play till they're about 30 or 35. Unless you're a special athlete like Tom Brady that's taking really good care of his body. He's playing at 42 and he's a grandfather, one of the oldest ones that's ever played, as a matter of fact. Stretch those legs. White snake spits poison. One last time. Then come up, hands at the side, and a calming breath, letting go of all stress and tension. Breathe and relax. So hands at the side, fist at the side. We're gonna come up and support the sky. Stretch way out. Come over to the other side of the body. Come down, come around the toes. There's pressure points on those toes. We don't wanna cut them off. Come up as we search the sea. And then we come up and support the sky. Stretch out. Come down, stretch those legs around the toes. Oh yeah, support the sky. Search the sea, moving, breathing, stretching, getting the body ready for the day. One last time, support the sky, search the sea, and then come up, hands at the side, and the fair lady strokes her hair in a calming breath, letting go of all stress and tension, energy healing, healing energy. Breathe and relax. Next move, little Buddha praise. Bring the hands here. Little Buddha praise, praise on one leg, come around. Now, if you can't pick it up, just put it on the toe. That's fine. If you can pick it up, he prays on one leg. So whatever you can do is fine. Nice and slow, little Buddha praise. Moving, breathing, stretching. If the leg falls down, it's okay. Whatever you're doing is right. Strength and balance. One last time. Then hands come down. The old sage strokes his beard in a calming breath. Letting go of all stress and tension. Breathe and relax. Nice and gentle. 
Next move. Uh, fair lady bounces the ball. So the left hand's going to bring up the right leg. The right hand's going to bring up the left leg. It's like you're walking, stretching those legs. There's lip nodes in the knees, the hips, the armpits. We're opening them up. They do not open up on their own. Driving a car, watching TV, sitting around, reading a book will not open the lip nodes. They must be squeezed and released. This exercise squeezes and releases them. Brings the body into balance, strength, balance, and flexibility. Moving, breathing, stretching. One last time. And then hands at the side and a calming breath, letting go of all stress and tension. Breathe and relax. So let's do a little spiraling qigong with one, one arm. So bring the hand out. Now we're gonna to have to move those hips back and forth and just do the best you can. The palm never turns down. We come inside, inside, and then come above the head, right above the eyes, about two inches. Lean back, lean back, stretch the neck. Full body exercise now, spiraling qigong, one arm. Everything's getting stretched, whole body's moving. Legs, knees, ankles, hips. Oh, yeah. One last time on this side. Other side comes out. Hips come in, come above. Oh, yeah. Moving, breathing, stretching. Everything stretching. Just doing the best we can. Moving those hips from side to side. Don't be afraid to move those hips. Let those bodies relax. Relax, relax, keep that palm up. One last time. Oh, yeah. Hands at the side in a calming breath, letting go of all stress and tension. Returning the body to its natural healthy condition. Breathe and relax. This time we're gonna have the lotus blows in four directions, so we're going to kick like one, two, Three, four, one, two, three, four. You see that American football players doing this exercise on the, when they warm up, they get hit on the hips a lot. So it really stretches the legs, keeps them healthy. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Oh yeah, stretch those legs. Get them ready for the day. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One last time. One, two, three, four. Hands at the side and a calming breath, letting go of all stress and tension. We're gonna open some pressure points on the feet. Now there's nine pressure points on those feet we need to open up. We're using the lock your pressure. So we're gonna step out on the heel. Now we're gonna stretch the ankles on the heel and then come up on the toe of the other one. Open that pressure point on that big toe. Big toe right out on the end of it, some pressure points. Runs to the liver and the spleen. Little toe runs to your bladder. Middle toe into your blood, energizing the blood. Stretching those lower extremities. Keep them healthy. Stretch that Achilles heel. If it pops, it's at least a year on crutches. On the heel, on the toe, on the heel, on the toe. It gets hard and brittle as we grow older, so we want to keep it soft and flexible. We want to stretch it, get it ready for the day. On the heel, on the heel, on the toe, on the heel on the toe, heel, heel. One last time, on the heel, on the toe, on the heel, on the toe, heel, heel. Step back and a calming breath, letting go of all stress and tension. I'm gonna do one more for the back, so if you have a bad back, be very careful, 70-40 rule or not at all. If you have any pain or discomfort, you stop. So the green dragon swims. So we're going to go swimming. So bring the hands above the head. 
We go to two levels. We're only going to go to two, not three. We go to the head and to the heart. So bring the hand down to the head. Now make a big figure eight, push way out. Come around and push way out on the other side. Now drop the buttock straight into the floor. Knees don't come forward, down to the heart. Another figure eight at the heart, way down. Just coming down and then come back up. Gentle and relaxed. Now the back's going into a S figure. So just moving down, drop, drop, whatever you're comfortable at and then come up, working the whole body now. Everything's working. Down to the heart. Back long and straight, drop the buttock. One last time. Oh yeah, everything's gonna be flexible after this one. Strength and flexibility, strength and balance. It's what we're working on. And let the hands come down. The old sage strokes his beard in a calming breath. Letting go of all stress and tension. Breathe and relax. So we'll bring some energy to into the body for the day. So bring the hands to the side. Bring the hands out, turn them over. They were facing the heavens, now they're facing the earth. Grab some energy and pull it into the body. Stretching the whole body. Moving, breathing, stretching. One last time. And this time when the hands come in, they come up into the heavens. We get some light from the heavens. Pull it down into the body. Come down to the knees, get some golden energy from the earth. Pull it up into the body. Oh yeah, visualization, imagination, shin. Part of your spirit. Gives us High morale for the day, spirit does. Vitality, pull that golden energy up from the earth into the body, visualize, imagine, pull that gold, inspirational energy down into the body from the heavens. Pull that light down from the body and let the whole body light up like a solar light. Pull it up from the earth, the golden energy. Shin Gong, one last time. And then come up to the side, hands at the side, and a calming breath, letting go of all stress and tension. Let's do one or two more. We'll work the, the, the back just a bit more. So come out here. I'm gonna take it, the head's gonna dip down and get a drink of water. So turn over, bend forward, lean the head down. And then come up, working that back, be gentle, 70-40 rule. Turning those hands over, working those shoulders and arms. Nice and gentle. Moving slowly. Go with your breath. So if you have slower breaths than others, that's fine. One last time. And then hands at the side and a calming breath, letting go of all stress and tension. Energy healing, healing energy. Breathe and relax. So let's go ahead and close with this uh, little standing meditation here. Let's get centered for the day. Bring the hands right in front of the, uh, the belt buckle. Let the hands circle, and when it gets to the spinal cord, let it drop straight, the thumbs drop straight down the spinal cord into the heart. Getting centered for the day with love, peace, and compassion. Remember the definition of love is perfect kindness. Bring some perfect kindness into your heart for all that you meet today. Bring some perfect kindness, some love into your heart for yourselves today. Definition of peace is perfect contentment. Let's be perfectly content with all that we have. The body and the balance with contentment. And compassion is universal awareness. Become aware of the universe. It is perfect. The energy is flowing properly. We're all connected by that energy. Our job is to participate joyfully in the sorrows of the world and set the example. One last time, getting centered with love, peace, and compassion. So don't let the world take your happiness away. Let your happiness take the world or change the world. Don't let the world change your happiness but let your happiness change the world let's balance the lungs back and forth gentle and relaxed
Feel the push or the pull or the sensation in the hands as we move through the guardian chi that surrounds the body around the lungs. It's very powerful, very strong today. If the lungs balance, we're going to balance the respiratory system. No allergies if we can help it today. Now bring the hands in front of the spinal cord. Let's balance the heart. Feel the push or the pull of your energy around your heart. The energy has been measured out 50 feet from the body by heart math over in Marin County. That's as far as their equipment will measure. We don't know how far the heart's energy goes, probably to infinity. Feel your heart's energy, that push or pull. Now turn the hands over. The heart has two sides. It's going to take five or six times before you start to feel it on this side as you start to bring the other side of the heart into balance and you'll feel that push or pull. And then bring it to a gentle stop, hands down to the side. A graceful bow for the ancient energy masters that have been doing those exercises for thousands of years. And one last calming breath, letting go of all stress and tension. And a round of applause for the Qigong players. All right. <laughs>